ito yung bahay kung saan pinapatayo tapos may mga as, may asin dyan na inilalagay ito po yung asin na pang paswerte ginagamit po namin yan ah, dito sa bahay nilalagay namin yan sa harapan ng pintuan ito yun sa health na nakakatulong at saka nakaka-relax siya. Ayun. ginagawa ko pa rin para iwas tayo sa sakit, di ba? Uh, may mga pamahiin tayo na, na hindi naman uh, nakakasama kapag tayo ay naniniwala. Una-una yung salt, uh, yung ginagamit, ginagamit ko para iwas tayo sa sakit, lalo na kapag yung weather ngayon ay medyo o oh, maulan. So, dito sa Japan kahapon guys, uh, pumunta kami sa pumunta kami sa mamatsuri and yung festival na yun Japanese festival sa Yasukuni Shrine tapos umulan pagbalik namin dito sa bahay ginagawa ako yung you know, yung routine yung pamahiin or yung that's it's natural remedy that you could use with water and salt so para iwas sakit uh, uminom ako ng tubig tapos nilagyan ko siya ng asin para yun um, hindi tayo magkakasakit masyado yan that, that is the reason why I did it because to stabilize your electrolytes in the body. So, kapag kayo guys ay into natural remedy, pwede nyo gamitin, uminom kayo ng tubig with with salt. Lalo na pag kayo ay lumalabas ng bahay, tapos medyo, you know, stormy outside and nauulanan kayo. So, pwede kayong pagbalik ninyo, inom kayo ng at least two or three glasses of water with salt, pins of salt, and then drink it immediately after. Huwag na ninyong hayaan na Bago kayo, I mean, bago kayo kumakain ng dinner. So, kahapon, yon bumalik kami dito. Tapos, may wonders talaga na, na, na ibibigay sa, sa amin yung asen. Kahit yung mga Japanese dito, guys, naniniwala sila sa mga, uh, naniniwala sila sa na idudulot na magandang, um, like, pamahiin or facts, I don't know what it is, in science, but, it's a pamahiin, we call it in, in Filipino, pamahiin or superstitious belief about salt. But I believe that there are also wonders that this, the salt can do into our, you know, in our health, in business, and in beauty. So, let's start with business, guys. So, kasi yung asawa ko, meron silang, you know, meron siyang ipinapatayo na yung previous niya na apartment. Tapos, bago sila nag Bago sila magpapatayo ng bahay guys, may mga routine sila, may mga tinatawag sila na yung sa atin, di ba, meron tayong sa Pilipinas, meron tayong mga pamahiin na kapag ganito magtayo ng bahay na kayo, yung, 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 what do you call this one? The door should be facing on the east just to receive more blessing. That's, you know, it's a good fortune. Also here in Japan guys, yung asawa ko, nagpapatayo siya tapos um, in the middle of the building before it was being built. So, meron silang inilalagay na may mga fruits doon tapos kasama na doon yung asin. Tapos, pag nagta-transfer kayo ng, ng bagong bahay, yun, ang una ninyong dadalhin ay asin. So, maglagay kayo ng asin sa, kap sa bahay kahit sa anong sulok na o parte ng bahay ninyo, pwede kayo sa living room, sa bathroom, sa uh, kitchen. So, kahit sa ang sulok, dapat may mga posti doon. Diba kung saan kayo nagpapatayo ng bahay, may, may post doon na malalaki doon kayo, doon ninyo ilalagay yung asin. Swerte daw yon Okay. At saka, 
well proven yun dito di ba wala naman siguro manini wala naman siguro mawawala ako maniniwala tayo yun ang yeah my parents did that one also when i was young so i couldn't remember but what i remember that when they put something like on the post and then they put some salt on it and it works so it's amazing and when you open a business like if you want into a restaurant or like if you want into a tea shop or like any business you want you need to have pamahiin like magdala din kayo ng asin kasama din kasama na rin doon yung asin okay at hindi lang yun sa business ah uh, sa bahay may mga may mga na kukuha talagang wonders natin sa or mayroon talagang naibibigay na swerte sa akin ang asin sa akin mismo yung pagda-diet ko for I tried it for one week and before you know uh, before eating my breakfast every morning I put salt on my uh, like I drink water and I put salt on my tongue and um, yeah it works and I lose weight so that's how I did with my yeah my you know lose weight story with a sin so hindi lang yon ginagawa ako rin siya as body scrub so dito sa bahay guys um to yung asin isang kilong asin to guys so um it was written in japanese that this was really sold this is the granules when you're going to look at inside the granules are bigger compared to the iodized salt so um my advice if you're going to use a scrub, it's better you ha you're going to use the sea salt, the natural salt, not the iodized salt. Kasi process na talaga yung, yung iodized salt. Mas mabuti yung natural na salt ang gagamitin. Pwede siya pang scrub na tatanggal yung dead skin natin. Pwede siyang pang elbow, uh, sa, sa paa, sa mukha, or sa liig. So, pwede yung gamitin pang body scrub. At dito sa bahay, guys, yung asawa ko, mahilig talagang mag-bath. Um... Pero so, bath, ang mga Japanese talaga maghilig tal uh, they would spend a lot of time inside the bathroom. So, they have, in, in the Japanese house, they have bathtub every house. So, what they did, there is what we called, aside mag maglalagay sila ng soap, bath soap, meron ding additional na asin na ilalagay. Uh, yung ubachan, si ubachan naglalagay ng bath soap. Kasi naniniwala sila, at uh, based on my research, nani, mayroon talagang nakukuha na magandang, uh, beneficyo sa asin dito sa, kapag isinasali mo siya sa inyong, you know, sa pagbabath. So, pwede siyang scrub. Pwede din doon ka, uh, like, you soak yourself in the water. Kaya nga, yung, yung sea salt, guys, kapag, di ba, pag nagkasakit tayo, sabi ng mama ko dati, o, oh, pag nagkasakit yung bata, dalhin natin sa dagat, tapos, uh, doon maligo. Kasi, that was the reason why I believe that we could also put here on the house. Na, na, meron talagang nagagawa ang asin sa atin. Hindi lang yun sa pagbabat. Meron din tayong tinatawag na food spa. Pwede din siyang pang food spa yung asin. Lagyan mo lang ng tubig or warm water. You could you could do that one in in your house. So, that's the home remedy that you could do um, in asin. And not only for the body scrub. Uh, naniniwala din ako na ang swerte na dulot ng asin ay yung, ah, halimbawa, hindi to swerte, ha, this, is, this is science. Ah, pag sinabi mong ah, nagkakasakit, nung kami nagkakasakit yung, yung ngipin namin, I mean, masakit yung ngipin namin, hindi nagkakasakit, na masakit yung ngipin namin. Tapos, naalala ko pa sabi ng lula ko, sige, ilagay, maglagay ka ng maliit, ng, uh, maliit na pinch ng asin kung saan ma, doon masakit yung ngipin mo. At later on, you know, it calms down and yeah, it works. So, kapag masakit yung as, yung ngipin ninyo at medyo malayo kayo sa dentist uh, to calm down, you know, the pain of your teeth, then you could put a little bit salt in your in your teeth. So, that would work. And you try that one, guys, because I I, I prove it that it, it really works. So, hindi lang yun. Um, ang asin din ay Dito sa bahay guys, naniniwala din yung asawa ko na kapag daw maglagay ng asin sa altar, and sa altar, malapit ako sa altar dito, may mga Buddha. Tapos, may tubig. Ayun. Uh, 
yung mga kaluluwa daw na namatay na pumunta sila dito bumibisita tapos umuwi, uh, lumabas naman ulit tapos hindi na daw ano mag ano sa not to make you discomfort so yun ang paniniwala nila so yun uh, maglagay lang kayo ng asin dito sa harapan ng bahay namin naglalagay siya ng asin not just to uh, keep away some insects but they believe that Ubachan's soul will come in and later on um, you know it you know pacify and you know he, her spirit will leave will rest in peace so yun ang paniniwala namin sa asin lalo na sa mga namatayan or lalo na ngayon this month uh, that this month was the death anniversary of my Ubachan I mean my mother-in-law and yeah that was we did it and uh, there are some traditional things that we did like pamahi in in Japanese that I could really appreciate and compare or like compare or contrast in the Philippines so I remember also when I was young so yeah we did that one also and another one thing about the the salt <coughs> previous blog I used the water and soul therapy to lose weight and it works for me and the science behind that is that like to maintain the you know you to pacify or the electrolytes in your body that would really suit and you know the cravings for more food that would really you know maintained and that would really you know you could you know, stop for more craving for food if you are into water and asin therapy. So, yun, gumag, naglulose weight ako until now. So, dati dati, I really, I am really big when you, when you are going to dig into my previous video. Um, I have a picture about that. So, I am really big and, um, and because of that, I have to challenge myself to lose weight because it's not easy to you know like if you're going to move around and if your body is a little bit fat so you could not uh you could not move easily so you need to lose weight so that's what i did with water and salt so kung ano yung paniniwala nyo guys yun na nga sa business sa health meron ka mga tanong tungkol sa sa asin sa sa tubig na ginagamit namin um into yeah, we, we appreciate a lot here in the house. So, I, you could see on my Alta, <laughs> there's a water and salt. So, and my husband did that one as, hindi lang, hindi lang talaga tayo mga Pilipino naniniwala. Sila din, may mga paniniwala. At kasama na din yung asin and water. So, if you are new in my channel, please click the notification bell and the subscribe button for me. To be happy and for you also if you are if I have a if I have, if I have a new upload video then you could you know search and watch my video and thank you so much for my subscribers and my friends who are watching with me right now all over the globe from you know all over the continents I have a lot of friends but thank you so much for all for all your support and I appreciate a lot for you know for having me in you and you know for making me as one of your friends and thank you so much if you have some question about business health and health and beauty that I could you know, you know share with you using salt thing so please comment below if you have some questions about salt thank you very much Ringing of bells means greetings to Buddha and to purify myself from worldly desires in Buddhism. Dito din sa harapan ng altar namin kung saan merong uh, asin din na kalagay sa kayong tubig. Pampaswerte daw ito kapag naglagay ka ng asin dito sa altar. Ayun. Ibig sabihin, pag naglagay ka ng asin sa altar, yung kapag may mga kaluluwa na bibisita sa'yo or may mga tinatawag tayong 
as uh, all's day, araw ng mga kaluluwa. So, ibig sabihin, uh, nananahimik sila at sila ay tumutulong sa inyo. Yun ang paniniwala namin tungkol dito.